Well, every day I get excited with what they can do today. You have a whole bunch of very small, very simple, very cheap robots. They're working together to do things, solve tasks. If you think of uh, like a swarm of bees or an ant colony, you have a whole lot of individuals. None of them are very uh, powerful or useful by themselves, but if you get the whole colony or swarm uh, working together, we're trying to take these sorts of examples as models and build uh, robots that kind of have the same sorts of behavior. If you want to build a space station or a satellite, rather than having astronauts go up there and, and build it, if you could build small, cheap modules, send them all up to space, and then have lots of robots come in and put the satellites together. There are so many possible applications with the, the project we're working on. Our robots aren't really designed for one particular problem. When our robots are completed, we'll be able to apply them to problems we haven't even thought of right now. This is raw data. This is raw data. I got this fellowship to come to the University of Colorado to uh, do swarm robotics. I graduated in just this past spring with a bachelor's of physics, mathematics, and a minor in computer science. I joined to help put the parts on the robots. We have to write code that can interface with every single part that is attached to the microprocessor. Um, so I had to figure out how to talk to some of the parts. We have about 10 of our droplets that are working. We have a lot of the software written. Right now we haven't gotten to the point where we're solving any useful tasks. We are still just testing each individual robot, getting the very low level communication between two robots working. I hope that uh, after we have these droplets completed, then we will just have this platform that whenever we want to do more experiments with swarm robotics, then we have this platform that we can just use it. I'm just really excited about the possibilities of robots. Five to ten years from now, I think the ideas that we've come up with in our lab will be every day.